first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to write this um, as a matrix equation. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write the coefficients in front of the variables, okay, like so. So you can see this is 1x, negative 2y, 3x, positive 1y. Then I'm going to write the variables, x and y, and then I'm going to write the solutions as a matrix, negative 3, 5. Okay, so are you with me so far? If you take this row times this column, you get 1x plus negative 2y equals negative 3, and that gives you back the first equation. Same thing with the second equation. So we've just written this as a matrix equation. Now, you can think of this as matrix A, variable matrix X, solution matrix B. If we want to get the variable by itself, what we want to do is we want to multiply by the inverse of this matrix to both sides of the equation. Now, we talked about how multiplication with matrices is not commutative. So if you multiply here on the left, you want to multiply here on the left. Okay, that's the key. So you want to multiply the inverse of this matrix times A. That's going to give the identity matrix. Okay, the identity matrix is like the number one. One times anything is going to be itself, and you're going to get the variable matrix by itself. So all we have to do is take the inverse of this matrix times our solution matrix, okay, A inverse times B, that'll give us our variable matrix, and that'll be the point of intersection for our two lines, so we'll have solved the system. So what's the inverse of this matrix? Well, first thing we wanna do is we wanna find the determinant. So that's one minus negative six, which is seven. Okay, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna interchange the A and the D, but you can see that's not gonna make much of a difference, and we're gonna make the B and the C the opposite sign, so that's two and negative three, we're going to divide all those elements by the determinant, which is 7. So this is our inverse matrix of A times our matrix B, okay, negative 3, 5. And what we get, you can see, is first row, first column. That's going to be negative 3 sevenths plus 10 sevenths, which is 7 sevenths, or 1. And if you do, for this one, the second row, first column, we get 9 sevenths plus let's see, plus 5 sevenths is 14 sevenths, which is 2. So you can see that x is 1 and y is 2. We can write our final answer as a coordinate, 1, 